everyone and welcome to Lund, Sweden. My name is Johan Setteberg and I run the outreach program, the Physics and Laser Show here at Lund University. Behind me is the main university building and the university was founded in 1666. But even though Lund University is the largest university in Sweden, in the mid 90s we had big problems recruiting physics students, being number fifth in Sweden when it came to that. We founded the Physics and Laser Show and started working strategically and hard with our demo show to try to recruit more students. And 10 years ago, we had as many students as all the other universities combined. So what is the Physics and Laser Show? Well, it's a demo show that lasts for 45 minutes and ends with a 15 minute laser show. We started out with a handful of demos and uh, five lasers. Now we mount over a thousand lasers and we have more than 50 different demos that we choose from when we make our shows. We meet more than 20,000 people a year and make somewhere between 100 and 150 shows. In total we reached over half a million people with our physics and laser show, making it one of what I would say more successful outreach programs in the world. It's a student driven project but really the students shine. They show the experiments, or at least a lot of them. To involve the students in your work is one of the most important things that you can do at a university to not only create a great environment, but also to make the education more attractive. Therefore today, uh, two of our students, Anna Maria and Frida, will show us a little experiment. But to do that, we need to head back to the lab. So, come on. My name is Anna Maria and this is Frida and we're here to show you how you can break glass. Everything in nature can vibrate. One example is the Tacoma Bridge that I'm sure you're all familiar with. In particular, glasses can vibrate. And we bought some uh, glasses from IKEA because we are from Sweden and yeah, we couldn't afford better. But the thing with these glasses are though that they have a pretty thick rim and hence they can be harder to break. But we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, but let's try and break the glass. Freda, if you hit the glass, we can hear the glass's own natural frequency. And if we use a function generator to get the same frequency to the speaker. And by doing this, we can break the glass. Yeah, pretty good. I think so, yeah. Okay, so let's assemble the glass. And Frida, you need to be careful here because we want the glass to be really tight because we don't want to lose energy into the foot. Also, don't put the glass too close to the speaker. Yeah. Got it? I think so. And then we also need protection because we don't want glass in our eyes once it breaks. Yeah. We have a strobe light with us today also, so we can see when the glass vibrates at a beat frequency. So, uh, you ready? Yep. Let's break the glass. Hi again, let's thank Frida and Anna Maria, they did a great job on that demo. I'm here in front of the Student Union building in Lund and I think that's a good place to round this off. 
thank you AAPT for having us. Thank you Stan for inviting us to be in, in your talk. Let us end with a little sneak peek from our laser show. Over and out from Lund, Sweden. <laughs>